Hey everyone, as you guys can see, I have all the different types of body shells for our Schumacher 10 scale off road buggies. And these are the Arox and Penguin body shells. Basically, I travel with all of them to each race I go to in case I want to switch uh, from a different body shell to a, to a different one. If I want more steering, maybe less aggressive car, maybe more high speed steering. So what I want to do is tell you all about the differences between each of them and when to use which one so you're ready and prepared for your next race and then you know exactly which body shell you should use to your liking so i hope this will be really helpful for all of you and now tune in and enjoy i'll start off with my four drive car on my schumacher cut l1 evo i have the penguin body shell this body shell is the most aggressive one from all of these three. It makes the car rotate a bit more, more rotation in the slow speed hairpins. So this is my go-to body shell on any carpet track I go to. Usually I never switch on carpet to a different body shell because I always crave for more steering in that conditions. So usually this is the body shell I run, but of course you guys might prefer a bit less aggressive car. Then I'll suggest to switch to the other ones and I'll tell a bit more about that. So the next option for the Cat L1 car and the Cat L1 Evo is the original Cat L1 body shell. This is the Aerox body shell. It's very low. It has a very low center of gravity. Probably the easiest body shell to run with. It makes the car really stable, low to the ground. So it was really good on carpet when it came out. But I think it was lacking a bit steering for, for me especially. So if your four drive car is a bit too aggressive on the carpet, you, you, you feel like you need a bit less aggressive car, a bit less steering, less, less rotation, then this is probably the body shell I would drive on carpet. Although I always use this one, as I've said before. But uh, if it I didn't did... catch that, could you try again? Thanks Siri. Um... No problem. <laughs> Um, so coming back to the video, this is the most aggressive one, this is the less aggressive one and these are the two body shells I would use on carpet. If your car is a bit too aggressive then switch to this one and it should feel much better. And the last body shell for the four drive car, this is the original Penguin, the first body shell for the Cat L1 that came out. As you guys can see I still have my number three numbers from the world's entrenching from 2019 where I podiumed and this is the body shell I used at that event we went testing over there and I think for the whole day I tested all of these three body shells and this one felt the best I feel like this body shell probably is the most stable one it doesn't keep the car really low it makes it roll a bit more so for very low grip conditions this is probably the best body shell it is smooth to drive it doesn't make the car rotate too much and that's exactly what I needed at the Worlds. I needed the car to be smooth, have lots of grip, easy to drive. So this is the one I stayed with the, for the whole event. At the warm-up we tested other body shells, but I found this one the best. So if you're lacking a bit of grip, you want a bit more stability, a bit less steering, then probably this is the body shell to go to compared to the brand new Penguin body shell for the Cat L1 Evo. And Comparing these two body shells, I think the Penguin one, so this one basically just gives the car a bit more grip, makes the car roll a bit more, and this makes the car really low. So for low grip, probably less grip, doesn't generate so much roll, so it doesn't grip up the car. But for example, at the Pinerolo Euros, I sticked with the Aerox one because the grip was quite high over there. I needed the car to be very smooth because the car itself generated lots of steering. So I've used the Aerox one, but for low grip clay tracks and astroturf tracks, I would suggest this one if, if you're lacking some grip. I think this will be all for the four drive car. And these are the three different body shell types I use. Uh, I travel with them everywhere I go. So I suggest all of you having them. I would suggest as well running the fin finest one, so the 0.5 millimeter if you can. Definitely they will last a bit shorter and you will find them probably break in those most vulnerable areas on the body shell but these make me faster i feel like if i was running the heavier body shells it will make the car roll more especially on carpet we don't really want that so i, su I would suggest running the, the thinnest 
uh, options but if you want the body shell to last a lot or maybe you want to practice body shell then probably running the thicker one will be a bit better for you but for racing i suggest running the thin body shell all right so now go into the two drive car this is the Schumacher Cougar Laydown that I run at the EOS in Down this year. So on this car I have the Aerox body shell that was a really good upgrade when it came out. I really like enjoyed it and it's been working extremely well till today. And and yeah, this is just stable. It has lots of steering as well and it is just easy to drive. So this is probably the base body shell that I have on, on the true drive car and I have it always with me. I usually start out with this one. As I know, it works on any surface, any truck I go to. So this is the, the base body shell that I have for the two drive car. And then this is the original Penguin body shell. The first one that came out for our two drive Cougar Laydown. This is the smoothest out, out of all of these three. This is the body shell I use at the Worlds in Trenching as well where the grip was really low, two drive was very difficult to drive so I really needed the car to be the smoothest as it can be so I sticked this one after I tested it before the Worlds and I've used it at some AstroTurf racing like the Upol International last year and uh, at the RC Madness in Connecticut I've used this body shell to just make the car easy to drive as my two drive buggy generated lots of steering itself on, on both of these tracks so this is this is a very easy option it is the easiest one to drive it has a little bit less steering than the Aerox one so on carpet I would probably stick with this one or the, the next bullet shell I'll be talking about but if your two drive has a bit too much steering on carpet then I would suggest trying this bullet shell you might like it but for me I always look for more steering in two drive class so I stick with the other body shells and the last body shell I want to talk about is a brand new penguin dark body shell for the two drive buggy I only have it in the neon yellow colors not enough time yet to have it painted by by Doobie design but when we get back to racing I'll have it in my racing colors and this is a very similar feeling wise body shell to the Aerox one I was able to only test it once the practice weekend and just before the virus outbreak and basically it generated probably the same amount of steering as this one but I found my lap times a bit faster which I always look for basically anyone wants to be faster everywhere we go to feeling wise it was exactly the same I wasn't able to, to find any difference on uh, in the feeling or how the car looked at the track it looks really cool it not the coolest with the neon yellow but with my racing colors i think it will look really good and basically the cab it, it has a bit more sharper edges but this has a really nice look to it and i i've enjoyed driving it so i think it's really worth having this one as well as i said i haven't had the possibility to test it a bit more but definitely the lap times were a bit faster with this one so i'll for sure try to test it more and probably use it at the future ERS runs when we get back to racing. All right, I think this was everything I wanted to talk about. As I've mentioned before, after talking about the four drive options, I think you really should run the 0.5 options for any body shell that you have. As I said before, it's probably more vulnerable to break. Probably it will not last as much as the heavier one but the ultimate performance will be from the lighter body shell as the weight of the body shell is a, is a bit high compared to the chassis so I want to keep that weight as low as possible so if you have more weight in the body shell itself it makes the car roll a bit more maybe for some of you on low grip conditions it might help and but I've always found the lighter the body shell the better it is especially in high grip on low grip as well i really suggest you run in the thin ones the the thicker ones are good for practice but i think for racing the, the thin ones are the best and i hope this was really helpful for all of you i hope it made you understand all of these options that we have and i'm really happy that we have all these options because the body shell might make a really big difference like in the touring car class so i suggest 
any of you, doesn't matter the, the brand or the car you drive, you should try different options of the body shells. I mean, it makes a big difference. If you cannot get a seller right, your body shell might help. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment which is your favorite body shell for our Schumacher buggies and subscribe to my channel for any future tutorials and videos and vlogs from my RC life. And for now, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.